Okay, well, welcome to Coronation Street. Hey. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you're not on Coronation Street just yet because it's not until we go around the corner. And we will get there very shortly. So you don't need to kind of like wander off for it. Okay, we are actually on Viaduct Street at the moment, so named because of the structure that's just behind you. And of course, we've got the Viaduct Bistro that features in a lot of episodes at the moment, etc. But if you look above the viaducts, you can see two different brick works. Why, why have we got two different colours? Because of the train crash. Because of the tram crash. Oh, That's tram right. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> can you believe it was 12 years ago? Never. From the Golden Jubilee, 2010. And of course, in that time, well, the bistro was called the Joinery Bar. There was a gas explosion in the Joinery Bar. It buckled the tra tracks above and two carriages came crashing over the top of the viaduct. One smashing into the corner it, shop yeah. and the other one totally destroying the corner of the housing and, and that of the cabin. And if you look at the cabin, you've got two different colour brickworks over there as well. But that's not the only time that particular viaduct has collapsed. 1967, and there was a train derailment yeah, and poor Ina Sharples, she got covered in the debris, she was taken into hospital, into Weatherfield General. The next day, they're all in the snug, kind of like going, ooh, is he in here going to be all right? Is she going to survive? Da -da -da. Guys, and welcome to the set of Coronation Street. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more uploads. And then over there, we have the cabin. And then we have the corner shop there. And then we have the bistro there. Then you've got the Platts house over here. And then we have the Underworld. And then we've got the Websters here. And there's the other side of the cabin.
irgendwas haben. Then you have number five. Anybody in? <laughs> Sorry in. Sorry in ten. <laughs> Prima Donna. They film inside Prima Donna. And they also film in the community centre just here. Now the community centre also used to be another business. Mm. Oh, well done, madam. And we have uh, street cars here. Over here, well, we've got street cars. Okay, Steve McDonald and his street cars, taxi firm. Great name for a taxi firm, isn't it? Has anybody seen the, the taxis in Manchester called street cars? Because there is actually a firm of taxis called street cars. And that is because they used it on the set of Coronation Street. Street cars, yeah, great name, yeah, brilliant. Ah, but they didn't copyright it. And so a very sensible young man decided, oh, I know, I'm going to set up my own business and I'm going to call it Street Cars. And he got away with it because it wasn't copyrighted. Then we've got 715 on the, the number for the phone. I wouldn't bother, you'll get nothing. <laughs> Uh, but 715 is the area code for Weatherfield, and that is the code Oxfam has given the uh, studios just to use for filming purposes. It won't appear anywhere as an area code in the rest of the country at all. The cars, well, they're registered by the DV DVLA to the uh, studios. <laughs> there are some ladies, young ladies, who took a bit of a shine to Steve McDonald. Oh yeah, <laughs> they kind of like took one of those and they sent it to the DVLA asking for his address because he was involved in an accident with them because they wanted to go and find him. Nice try girls. Ooh, what are you like? <laughs> hey? And then continuity wise, continuity wise, this building here, well this is the back of the Museum of Science and Industry at Key Street in Manchester. And they had to build this because in a lot of the programs prior to the move over here, this kind of structure features in the program. And so they had to recreate it and rebuild it. And it's just a facade. On the other side, if you walked along the main road, if you park your car at the War Museum and walk down, you'll notice it was just breeze block and iron girders holding it together. <laughs> but on this side, it's all decorated, painted, and it's a perfect replica to the Museum of Science and Industry. It's also doubled up recently where Spider 
tried breaking in in that storyline. Yeah. Then we've got Nuttall's Brewery. Oh, it kills me, Nuttall's Brewery. Because it's Newton and Ridley they serve actually in the Rovers, isn't it? Maybe Nuttall's is used at the Flying Horse down on Walsby Street. Uh, but just behind there, really those gates are there to mask an area that they use and develop when they want an outside storyline. So sometimes they use it for the Christmas markets, because they can't go out and do the filming actually in Manchester or the Christmas markets, but they'll set up Christmas markets here and do it just behind there kind of thing. Also Horonation Street, that's kind of like featured in that area before now as well. Okay. I'm going to walk a little distance now, just down Victoria Street. Uh, we're going to take a few minutes and I'll meet you underneath the lamplight. Yeah, because they were there actually filming. about Deirdre, he goes and gets a pair of glasses out, well they've been catalogued and stored up there, got taken out and then kind of like put back after the scene's filmed. Also, the Hilda Ogden's ducks. <laughs> oh, and if we remember Hilda Ogden's ducks. Oh, what do you think, Mrs. Barker? Oh, this is all <laughs> kind of thing. Well, they're up there, three ducks flying in a row. One of them was all, the middle one was always kind of like dangling down, kind of thing. Iconic Corrie. And if you look carefully, and I'll let you into a secret now, if you look at the Bailey's house, so number three, and when they open the door, and on the, on the stairway going up, there are three hummingbirds in formation. And that's a bit of a nod to Hilda Ogden, a past character. We're trying things lovely. You know, you have Betty, Al, Hilda. Oh, it's lovely to have and also, a couple of weeks ago, well, Fisher and Tyler were trying to win his back. He was in to be the pair of earrings that were Vera's kind of thing. And they stood up there. He didn't just go to Claire's accessories and buy a new set kind of thing. They were taken out and then put back. So that's kind of like props. Down below, there are two studios. Well, one of them is where your knickers are, so... Because that will be the internal set for Underworld. 
And then the other set, well, a few weeks ago, you saw Audrey on a bed going, It's all right, Gail. I'm fine. I'm at home. Well, that was the inside ward of Weatherfield General in there that backs onto the medical centre kind of thing. So that kind of like is where the filming for those episodes and those scenes are. Now when we come down Rosamond Street, this gentleman here just went, don't recognise this at all. Don't recognise it at all and he's quite right. Because before when we were over at the Granada Studios, well it was different. Rosamond Street came straight down and looked like it went on forever. And that was because in that scene, in those play, in that place, well, Rosamond Street stopped at the archway there. Then there was a temple drop to Great Street, and then across the Great Street, back walk to our studio. And what they did for those scenes was that they took a picture of a street, they put it on a big canvas, and they attached it to the back wall of the studio. So Rosamond Street looked like it just kind of like went on and on and on and on. It was an optical illusion, really, kind of thing. But when they moved over here, well, you could do something a bit different because there's no back wall of, of any studios there. They could have built a facade if they wanted to and kind of like done that and put a picture up, kind of thing. But what they decided to do was just change the geography slightly. So Rosamond Street now comes down and turns up here. Maudsley Street comes down and goes that way. And you went down the back there and saw the back of the houses on Maudsley Street that are parallel to Car Coronation Street. But over here, they've done something very clever. We've just been in the business part that they've developed over on that side. Well, these are now businesses, aren't they? Yes, they're dilapidated. Yes, they don't look very good. But it gives them opportunity that if they want to have more businesses, they can do one of these up, can't they? In reality, these we passed uh, on our way down, just made out of wood. If I just do this. Looks great though, doesn't it? It looks really solid. Just facades, just facades of uh, kind of like shops. Another nice touch is these names, uh, Eccleston and Hatsar. If you're looking at the credits as they roll, well, these are two gentlemen who work on the production. Now, isn't that nice to have your name immortalized on every production that ever gets shot down here and your name is up there? So they must think a lot of these yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah, must think. Okay, bear with me, we've just got one little bit more, another couple of minutes uh, to go. Okay, so we're just going to talk about the different sets that we've had. just had a walk around the fifth Coronation Street set. So there have been five in total. The very, very first one, well that was like facades like those, ha those businesses I've just shown you then. Just made out of wood, decorated, painted, and they were in a studio kind of thing, inside. Even the cobbles, they were just painted lovely on the floor, of the studio floor. So actresses had to pretend to step down, kind of like totter across and then step up onto the curb. Bit difficult, try it. It's really quite difficult. You have to be quite good at acting to do that. And then they decided that they wanted to take it outside. So what they did was that they just took it lock, stock and barrel, the wooden uh, facades outside onto the set the Granada. Well, they didn't last very long because wood in Weatherfield